So you know the idea. This is a good idea, right? Let's take a diesel motor out of a van and put it in a Oh, it's recording. Oh boy. So, Ashley and I have made this trip out to El Monte to take a look at a Duramax van. And um, there's not many around here. Not many in California, it's kind of hard to find. So we're gonna go check this out and uh, if it's in good shape, hopefully we leave with a Duramax diesel van. If I like it enough, I might keep it and we will use something else for this project, so. <laughs> but yeah, we're in a little dealership here in uh, El Monte, California and hopefully we find what we're looking for. All right, we've made it. This is it, this is the van. This is uh, GMC 3500 Duramax diesel. It is uh, in fairly good shape. And these guys were actually nice enough to let me get this on a lift and look at everything. So it looks really good. The transmission's a 4L80E, which is good for us. More of a drag racing application. It's pretty easy to modify and build. 6.6 um, six Duramax turbo diesel. It's in fairly good shape. If we can get the right price on this, I think we'll leave with this van today. But uh, the only problem is the van's actually in really good shape, and I don't want to use it for a project. It's super nice. I'd rather keep it, but uh, it is what it is, and we gotta probably tear this apart for a project. So we'll talk price, and then I might leave with this. Well, looks like we bought a van. Oh, buddy, it's good shape. Pretty stoked about it. We got the price right. We came in with a specific amount of money that we needed to spend, and um, we got uh, we got them down to it. So I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm actually kind of bummed that we have to tear this thing apart because it's in really good shape and it drives great. Just look at what's going on right here. There's a bunch of stuff. It's graveyard parts. Jose, Tony. Myself, I've been working on pulling this motor out. We don't know anything about diesels. This van has to be lifted off up here. Roll this forward, pull the engine out. Pretty much a nightmare. Something like that. Something like that. Like the harness goes God knows where because we thought we pulled all of it off, but then it goes back through here and down under there and to the back and the only way to take it out is to pull the entire van off. The whole van off. Leave the chassis on the floor, pull the van off, and hopefully it'll be easier. We're halfway up. This is uh, the point where you discover what is still connected and what you forgot. Good. We're actually not that bad. We, we can lift we it off. A few hoses, you know, nothing major, so I think we're good. We'll lift it off. We're gonna lift this as high as it'll go, but this lift only permits so much with this van, and we'll push it forward. We'll pull the motor out. I guess the, we can pull the motor out. We, we haven't got that far we'll yet. Probably, we'll, we'll probably just bring out the chassis complete with the engine, and then we'll pull the motor out. <laughs> if it wasn't for Tony, we would never got this done. Tony, Jose, myself, but we got this motor and trans out, which is 
our new power plant for the and it doesn't look like it's gonna fit at all. It's not gonna fit, we're gonna make it fit. <laughs> we're gonna make it fit.